It's a vlog. It's a vlog, bros. Guys, look what came. My beautiful baby is in Austin. She made it. Donuts, and then get back in the car because we it's Miss Corona. Okay, bye. Zilker Park and it's sick. Okay, no. Zilker Park is beautiful and dope. Wow. This is so sick. It's just like a huge park. It kind of reminds me of Drew Hill Park, but way bigger and different and very Texas. This is so cool. It's giving like desert vibes, but also giving lush tree vibes. I'm excited to live here. the Nike check and just some black spandex because that's how we're rolling today got on my cute leaf earrings some chains going on we got uh, something I've had this for a minute I forget where I got it from Scarlet's Addiction of course Rave with me hente ready for the day I'm gonna go exploring today probably take some pics at some of the murals like in downtown ish area then I'm probably gonna try some barbecue should probably turn this down so I don't get copyrighted maybe finish up some shopping that I need to do which I hate because I've literally been shopping for the past four days but it's okay, because it's all going to be worth it when everything is here and Gucci, so. Haven't seen you guys in a while. <laughs> I'm here to, you know, update everyone on my moving situation. I have my Girl Supporting Girls merch on, full sweatsuit mode, because as you can see, it's a gloomy old raining day in Texas. That was the worst thing ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna kind of show you guys 
some of the stuff that I've been doing around ye old apartment. Some additions to the space. So, yeah, my bed is very poorly made. So, sorry in advance, but this is my bedroom right now. We got the fire comforter which i'm actually going to get in another color because i didn't really want this color but i really liked it anyway so i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it on my squishmallows because it's not like i'm 25 or anything um then i got this really cool little stool i thought obviously my bed frame is gray the stool is gray i feel like it just looks good over here my necklace holder is also gray so I'm going for like clear, black, gray vibes, a little bit of white. I got this white trash can from TJ Maxx, I think, or Home Goods. Um, so this is kind of shaping up. This is like my vanity area, but I obviously need a mirror or something. I hung up all my Polaroids. Well, this isn't all of them, but it's a lot of them and they make me happy and I'm glad to get them up. I still have a bunch of other ones that I need to figure out how I'm gonna hang, but yeah. So that's that for my bedroom pretty much. There's some stuff over here, but it's literally just dirty clothes. So I'm not gonna show you guys that. But then coming into my living room, I don't know how much of this I've actually shown you guys. Probably not a lot, but this is how it's going. Got my speakers for my turntable, which I have to figure out a place for. My counter is just a mess right now, but that's just whatever. Got my little office desk set up. I love it. This chair I got from Overstock, I think. Super, 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 super comfortable. Like, cannot begin to tell you. I'm basically a novice gamer. Just kidding. But I got this cool gaming keyboard because, I don't know, it makes doing work <laughs> more fun. My big old Wonder Boom here. I got this really cute wooden thing from, I think, TJ Maxx again or Home Goods. I have this lamp, which I love. It's literally this just exposed. I'm going to see if I can turn it on with one hand. It's just this exposed kind of concrete lamp. I'm sure you're supposed to probably put like a shade over it or something, but I really like the way it looks just exposed, especially because my desk is very like wood rustic vibes that's what i'm going for in here so and i feel like it perfectly as i hit it i feel like it perfectly matches i don't know i just like i like the vibe then i got this little mail thing for kind of my random stuff i got this storage drawer yesterday from target because i wanted a riser for my computer screen for my big ass screen but i couldn't find one in target and i was desperate because i was just getting mad annoyed that like i was kind of like looking down at the big screen so i got this it's kind of like i mean it's holding it obviously it's sturdy and it's fine but it's definitely like if you see it moves when i move it but i mean it's fine i like it too because it has this drawer so i can actually put some of my stuff in it i got my computer nothing to see there my soul cycle bike i literally did soul cycle earlier actually that's why my water bottle is still on it i just leave my shoes on it too because it's kind of annoying to clip them out and it is what it is at first i thought i didn't like it but i kind of feel like it's fine <laughs> I also move my couch to the corner. I almost feel like it makes it look a little bit bigger, but maybe not. Maybe it makes it look smaller. But yeah, I have my PlayStation controller because I'm playing Overwatch or was playing Overwatch. So I just need a break from life. 
um, my tripods over here. This is like a bunch of stuff that needs a home. That shelf I want to put up on this big ass wall above my couch, which I also ordered some prints for, which I'm excited about. Got my create journal, my turntables in that black box, and then that other pink box is just a bunch of like significant papers, memories, etc. And then we have this kind of cluster of Wi-Fi assorted items, and then my Wi-Fi box, which I need to figure out where to store. And then you guys probably realize that my TV, well, for one, I have a TV now, which is exciting. This is actually the TV that's going in my bedroom, but I just, one, don't need a TV in my bedroom right now, and I've just been watching TV out here, but I don't have my TV table yet. It's coming on Monday, so I just kind of moved my coffee table and made it the TV table for now. I also don't have a TV table in my bedroom anyway, so it doesn't really make sense to have my TV in my bedroom, so I have to figure out what I'm gonna do in lieu of that. I don't know what decor I want for my bedroom. I have so much out here, and I like have planned it out. I know exactly how I want it to look, like all of that, but my bedroom, I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> so I don't know. It is kind of like, I mean, it's not cold today, but for Texas, I feel like it's cold because it's, there's like a breeze. Like I was out here earlier after I did Soul, I was on my yoga mat. I have my yoga mat out here because I got it yesterday. And if you know, you know that yoga mats, like when they first come can smell like plasticky and weird. So I put it out here to, I don't know what you, it's not drying, but like, I don't know, lose the smell. And then of course it rained last night. So it's kind of damp right now, but I actually sat on it earlier to stretch out after sole because it didn't matter because I was nasty anyway. And then this is my hammock, which I did have set up on my rails, but I took it down yesterday because I realized it was raining and I didn't want it to get messed up. I don't know if I showed you guys my kitchen setup but I'm kind of obsessed with it. I love it. I took so much time figuring out what kitchen things I want and I feel like it's coming together aesthetically. It looks so cute. I have my coconut sugar and my chia seeds in here. I have to figure out what else like bulk I'm gonna put in that jar, but I just love it because I feel like it matches all the rest of the decor, which you'll see. Got my automatic tea kettle here, my toaster from Target, Got some rice in these big canisters and then also my pasta as well, which it's not focused, but it's fine because you don't need to focus on the pasta. My dishwasher's running right now, but I have this little cool kind of wooden black holder. It has like three little, I don't know, like things on it. And so I just have been putting my kitchen utensils. So I have these cool salad spoons that are wooden, some tongs, and then the rest of it is like gray, plastic, black stuff. Um, then I got this cute thing that says stir for my utensils, my cooking utensils, my loaf of bread here, because I don't have anywhere else to put it. I got a silver and like black knife set. It's Faberware or Farberware or whatever that brand is. I got it from Target. It's really pretty and I like the way it looks. So, got my bagels back there, my coconut nonstick cooking spray, and then this is obviously, or I mean, you guys might not know, but this is, I'm pretty sure, supposed to be like where you put your hot pans and stuff so you don't have to put them on the counter. But I kind of like the way my spices look on it. So I just have my spices on it, and those are literally the only spices I have right now. But you know, we got the we got the essentials. We got Miss Adobo. We got black pepper, obviously. In the back, we got some garlic salt, and then we got the pink Himalayan salt. You know, we do what we we do what we can in the meantime. Got my olive oil back here, and then a crap ton of mason jars. I finally bought these, 
these bamboo mason jar lids. It's totally not focused, but like it's fine. Um, anyway, I bought these bamboo mason jar lids with the straw hole because I have glass straws, which I'm super excited about. So I basically, I make green tea, lemonade, matchas in the morning so I can be on big productivity energy. So I just throw all the ingredients in the mason jar, shake it up, and then I replace the lid with the bamboo lid and a straw. And I did that yesterday and I was like hyped, like got so much work done. Um, then I got these three mugs from Target. Don't stress, do your best. I thought, always a good reminder for me. Be you, be kind. Again, another dope reminder. Oh, I got four actually. And then I just got this black one because as you guys will see in a second, my plate, my dishware and stuff is all like this kind of design and finish. So I thought it would be cool to have at least one mug that matched. And then I just got this white, yay, it's focused. I just got this white, almost like wood, gr I don't even know what you call it, but it's like brown and white, I don't know, whatever. I thought it also kind of matched the like wood brown aesthetic I have going on in here. And then my beautiful iridescent wine glasses, they're stemless. I had to, I love iridescent wine glasses for Christmas last year. My parents bought me some of these and I actually left them in my New York apartment because like all of my cookware is in my New York apartment, which is like a whole other thing, but I had to buy them again cause I just think they are beautiful. Then in here, also I'm again, like I said, I'm doing dishes. So some of the dishes just aren't in here. I didn't buy that many dishes cause I'm like, I'm living alone and also, low-key, I don't really have friends here, <laughs> so anyone that lives in Austin that wants to be friends, hit me up. I just be vibing. I do mad work, but I also just be vibing. Anyway, so I, again, going with like the wood, green, earth vibe, got these like large, wide bowls. They're kind of like brown and then green on the inside i really really like them i got four of those because i figured i only got like two bowls two plates and then or two small plates and then two big plates so i figured i'd get four like larger bowls just in case i need more but these are the plates i got i literally love them if you like keep up with like home decor at all you know that these like rimmed plates are super in and i just love them too i made a salad in one of these yesterday and it was perfect because my all my greens didn't like spill off and be annoying so i really like it i love the finish how it's like speckled and like matte and glossy so yeah this is apparently project i don't know it's definitely not gonna focus but oh it is project 62 it's porcelain got it from target and then i got the matching deep bowls these are like the small deep bowls um that match so and obviously they're also project 62 and then i just got some basic basic tumblers basic tall glasses like you know what it is i did get some drawer organizers because if you know me you know what's good um got my measuring cups in here can opener ice cream thingy <laughs> scissors i literally have like three pairs of scissors because one pair came in my tool kit which is right there another pair came in my um like knife set and then this pair I either bought or I think it came in something else. Anyway, so those are there. I got my bamboo, my second bamboo lid, which honestly I should just put this back in here. This is my hydro flask, my second replacement straw. Got a garlic press, wine opener. Then you can't see, but back here I have my, um, I don't know what lid, what this is called, but it's like the wide mouth lid for the the hydro flask and then i have this rice 
thing because I have my rice cooker, which you guys will see in a second. Got this Silpat baking sheet for when I bake. And then underneath here, I just put some plastic cutting boards. First off, I love this cutting board. Love a good wooden cutting board. Definitely gonna use this as a cheese board at some point when I actually make friends and have guests and Corona's over. And I also got this clear bowl where I've just been putting all of my produce. I had avocados in here, but I ate my last one this morning. My pantry, I'm proud of. I have, you guys know the deal with the LaCroix. If you don't know, now you know, get on the wave. This is literally like, kind of the best sriracha ever uh it's blue agave it's made in texas shout out texas i love this i've been using it on my avocado toast because i do i'm not gonna take you guys through like everything in my pantry if you want me to do like a what's in my pantry video <laughs> let me know but i highly doubt anyone cares that much so my bathroom some cool things happening in here I got my Quip toothbrush because I had to get on the wave. Got this vetiver and cedarwood candle. It smells like musky, kind of like man. I finally got this clear organizer for my skincare and my body care. So I have all my skincare in here, my body stuff, my toothpaste. Um, then I got my raw sugar hand soap because it slaps. Got this little organizer. I kind of don't know what to do with this because, like, I definitely want my beauty blenders to be in here. Like, I do like that. And obviously, like, the cotton, the cotton, what are they, cotton swabs? Um, Q-tips, duh. Um, I like them there. But this is kind of weird because it's, like, open on the side. I know cotton rounds are supposed to go in here, but I don't use cotton rounds. So, I just put my face mask um like well they're not brushes but like they're like the silicone things that you can use to like put on your face masks i don't know i just put them in here because yeah i don't know whatever then i need to get a clear organizer for my hair stuff obviously it's all shea moisture oh well in here i just have Obviously good old Charmin toilet paper. I got these baskets from Target. I really like them because obviously they're clean white but have like the wood kind of, not like wood, but like, you know, like the brown leathery accent which is basically what's running through my whole apartment. I have my extra kind of like linens, like towels, pillowcases in that one because they're small. And then in this I have literally miscellaneous stuff. And then this is my memory book that my aunt made me. And then this is just a bunch of random stuff. Now, first off, shout out to having a walk-in closet. I have never had a walk-in closet before in my entire life. So this is pretty iconic to me and I'm like freaking out about it. But also I really wanna organize it well, so I'm not there yet in terms of organizing, but I'm getting there. It's fine, it's gonna take a bit. I bought these you can probably see it better with this one these are like pants organizers i don't really know if i like them but i just bought them because at first i didn't have these pants hangers and i couldn't find any so i just bought that and i have like my shorts hanging on that one and then my longer pants hanging on that one and then over here i just have like some other pants folded all of my crops, my cute shirts, my So Butterfly house head tank that I got, which I'm obsessed with. All of that is hanging here. I got like all my intimates and stuff in that basket. Um, leggings, workout clothes, sports bras in there. I really like these baskets. Up here I have my winter shoes and my heels, my camera case, my backpack. And then that has a bunch of other crap in it. And then the corner is my duffel bag. And I just put all of my like, sweatshirts hoodies right there and then yeah i just have some clothes hanging i need to finish hanging my clothes though because i have a bunch of them just on the floor in my room yeah my laundry basket i got it from target tj maxx it's bad i should remember where i got everything but i don't and then all my shoes are down here i'm getting a curbside pickup at target today for a shoe rack 
that's white. I wanted a black one, but it's fine. I don't really care. Up there in that Trader Joe's bag is literally all of my rave clothes, which I'm probably just going to leave in that bag because there's no raves right now or for the foreseeable future. Yeah, it's lit. I did order a mirror the other day, which I'm very hype about. It's going to be coming, I think next week or the week after. So I'm gonna put that in my room. Then obviously when my TV table comes, I'm gonna set that up. Yeah, that's my update for right now. I'm gonna play a little bit of Overwatch and then get back to work because I have mad stuff to do. And I also have a couple videos to edit because I'm mad behind and I literally moved like two weeks ago and I still haven't put up my vlogs from when I was home. So there's that.